What's up, good people? How are you doing? It's finally freaking Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And um, I think I, I may have just had a breakthrough here. Um, oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Shoot, I didn't even take into consideration. Um, this morning, finally, I've had a breakthrough. And I'm 252 exactly. So it's 18 pounds and hold it. almost 19 pounds, 18 pounds, 18.8 uh, .8 pounds off total. It finally dropped down to 252 even, started out at uh, 269, no, no, I'm not, I'm 18 pounds. 269.8 so I'm at 18 pounds off but this is about three quarters of a pound lower than I've been since I started uh, doing keto so last night did not cook dinner last night what we did was we actually went to Saratoga Pizzeria and I ended up getting um, an Athenian salad which is chicken and we got a gyro salad, which is gyro meat. So we got two of those and we, you know, me and the wife swapped both of them. Actually, we still have, really we didn't eat that much because we still have this much left over. So between the two of us, mm, I really only ate one big salad. I'm gonna eat some more of that. Um, Eat some more of that for lunch, probably, and um, be happy with that. Today, it's going to get into the mid-60s again, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for a walk this afternoon and um, try and get ourselves a little bit more fit, get a little extra exercise in. I'm going to try and take advantage of the drop and see if I can make this drop, make it drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. See if I can drop it down by Monday and hit 250. I'm only two pounds away, so I'm gonna actually work hard to get over this hump. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked now. I am really feeling good about this at this moment. I do need to go to the store. We have a friend of ours, Allie, is coming this, I think, Sunday for a few days or so. So I need to go to the store and get some good snackages and things like that. I know she loves to smoke cheese, so we'll probably smoke some more cheese uh, for her to be able to take back home. So we'll have some of that. And I think I have a um, rib roast in the freezer. So I think I'm going to take that out tomorrow. I think I'm going to do a nice rib roast, some nice rare meat, and do some cauliflower stuff on there. So we'll, we'll definitely have something really good this weekend. Uh, protein wise and try and really kick back into ketosis um, still have yet to do a peace strip um, I'll probably do one of those this afternoon to see where I am because I know I've been I've been bad I've been bad but at least at least I can say I didn't gain any weight not really getting out of it and this may be actually a good gauge of if during the football season, and that football season now we got Sunday games, you know, Monday night games, Thursday night games, and things like that. If I at least look at moderation, because this was the problem that I had before, was once I stopped, when football season came through, it was just like, damn the torpedoes, I'm just eating everything. And I ate so much fast food. I drank so many sodas. So I was just literally, and, and the price of sodas now through the roof, it's, it's advantageous not to be drinking sodas. But I just ended up just doing screw everything. So if I can at least get into, if it's not keto, if I can get the weight down and at least have the moderation and now that I'm able to actually walk again and be active because uh, this time last year I was heading into getting my knee operated on and doing the recovery on that so I couldn't really walk real well. Maybe, just maybe, this will be a life-changing situation where I can keep that weight, not going back up to the 270 range that I keep it, you know, get below 
250, maybe the 240, and keep that range in the 240-ish section. Because I tell you, yesterday was crazy. I had my blood pressure, I think it was 112 over 72. And the, 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 the thing actually said, your blood pressure is optimal. I was like, say what? I didn't even know that was a thing that it could actually say. It usually says normal or high normal, you know, or, or moderate high, or, or moderate hypertension or shit, go to the emergency room. Shit, go to the emergency room right now. No, it doesn't actually say, well, it might, I don't know, but, I, but, but it was close to that setting. But yeah, the blood pressure is definitely doing really, really good. And feeling, you know, I feel energy. I feel like I got energy right now. And um, um, yeah, I just feel like I've got all kinds of energy and stuff. And I've been like busy as can be, working on stuff in the workshop and starting to do a little bit on the yard and things. And of course, uh, it's been crazy because just keeping up the Cowboys and recently. You know, with everything that's been going on, it's just been crazy, crazy, crazy. And so, I plan on doing that as well. And, got my coffee here. Actually, actually, here's the thing. Um, this morning, my daughter, she's actually going out to Vegas. You know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Um, and so, I took her to the airport early this morning. So I actually got up at 6.30, and then when I came back, I shot my morning video already downstairs. In fact, I've already had a big cup of coffee this morning, so there's that, and actually, I'm going to make a cup of coffee for the wife. Now, you, you know how I made it real pretty before? The other day, I made a real nice pretty cup of coffee, you know, put the cinnamon on top of it and everything, and, and it looked beautiful. And my wife was like, I appreciate that. She said, but can you put it in the uh, the Yeti? She said, because it gets cold. And she don't like your coffee cold. But I was like, but in the Yeti, you can't see how pretty it is. And I want you to see how beautiful it is with the with the cinnamon on top and all that. And she was like, yeah. But within about 30 seconds, it's cold. So, so much for being an artist. And I'm going to get back on track. My apologies to y'all on um, lacking on the cooking. It's just I have not been doing much cooking like I should have. Um, on here. I've just been swamped. There's so many things that have to be done. And there's not enough hours in the day. Where's my cinnamon? Don't want to put celery seed on it. Alright. The compromise. I'll do it like this. Take it up there at the top. And then boom. She can put the top on it after she sees how pretty it is. I hope you guys are having a great keto day. It, it, am, am I getting any better? Am I getting any? I hope I'm getting better. Um, definitely feel smaller than when I started. All right. Peace.